Hi everyone, welcome to Share Profit Growth webinar. Today we'll be discussing about how you can reduce your weight discrepancies. So weight discrepancies like is a major problem with our sellers that they raise or raise to us that the weight is not weight, weight mismatches with the core company. So today we have on board our CEO, Mr. Atul Mehta. Hey, hi, Gaurav. Uh, so Atul brings like around more than 16 years of experience and he currently is leading domestic shipping, last mile operations and innovative innovation at Shiprocket like drone delivery, returns, India Post. Uh, so all those the initiatives that Shiprocket is currently uh, giving to its, uh, its sellers is being headed by Atul Mehta. Over to you, Atul. And uh, we should start the webinar with how we can reduce weight discrepancies for our sellers. Yeah. Uh, so thanks. Thank you, Gaurav. Uh, and welcome, everyone, all of those who have joined and the ones who are in the process of joining. Uh, uh, great to be talking to you. I'm assuming a lot of us, of you are uh, Shiprocket customers. A lot of you are prospective customers. Uh, so it's always great to uh, meet uh, entrepreneurs and sellers for whom we are building everything what we are at Shiprocket. So excited about uh, what we are going to cover today. Uh, I think like uh, Gaurav mentioned, weight is, uh, along with NDR potentially, is one of the biggest challenges when you start off new, you face as an entrepreneur or as a D2C brand and a seller. Uh, and today what we're going to cover is a bit of context for anyone who's new to e-commerce. What is all this noise about weight and uh, what can you do to sort of reduce the impact it is having on your business? Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next slide. Uh, so yeah, we are going to understand what weight is in e-commerce. Uh, what is this new animal called volumetric weight? Um, what is a weight discrepancy? Why does it come? How does it come? And uh, what are some of the capabilities we have built at Ship Rocket to help you manage weight better? Uh, and then towards the end, we'll have a QA and a where we'll be taking a few of your questions and what we can't answer, we can potentially uh, take it forward from there. Uh, I'm also joined by Sunny uh, and Jyoti and I'll call them in uh, during the course of the time. Uh, Sunny leads uh, product for weight uh, along with a bunch of other things. And Jyoti leads the weights program and the business metrics around it. So there's like everyone on ShipRocket who's got to do anything to do with weights is here to help uh, educate and communicate what we understand about weight and what we are doing and also take your inputs and feedback on how can we get better at it. Okay, moving on. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's start by understanding weight for all of those who are new. At least this was new for me when I got into uh, this industry three years back. That there are two types of weights. Uh, one is, can you go to the next slide? Yeah. So this dead weight, which is what I understood as weight right from when I started studying physics, that there's a weight of a particular item. You know, what is unique in e-commerce is this is something called volumetric weight, which is a function of what is the volume of the package you are sending it in. So this is what is the length of the package, what is the breadth of the package, what is the height of the package. You multiply all these three uh, in centimeters and uh, what we use in ship rocket as a common divisor is 5,000. Like some of the couriers use 4,000. Someone in B2B uses different divisors. We use a very standard divisor of 5,000. Uh, and that's what we call as volumetric weight. So every package which is shipped in e-commerce will have something called a dead weight, which is the kg weight and something called a volumetric weight which will be centimeter cube weight. Uh, for physics uh, lovers, it is length, breadth, height, centimeter, 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 divided by five, right? Uh, now, why is volumetric relevant? Moving on. How do could you could, uh, yeah, so dead weight and volumetric weight. And this is how couriers actually measure weight, right? So when you use Shrocket to manifest a shipment, or even if you're directly working with couriers, Couriers do have sorting machines where a packet goes through the machine and the sorter takes an image and captures the weight of the package. 
and then from the image using image reading software the courier is able to translate that back into length breadth height of the product and hence calculate volumetric weight and dead weight for every shipment there are manual weighing machines uh, for bigger packets and then there is physical inspection at hubs also where uh, we are not able to do the sorting uh, a year back 40% of e-commerce shipments went through sorter machines in us 100% shipments go through sorter machines we have been working closely with couriers in pushing back and uh, encouraging them to use sorting machines so today we have 70 odd percent shipments where we are able to get sorting uh, with the sorter machines weight which is very robust where the idea is to take it up to 100% so the point being oh, the the weight which courier gives comes from two three uh, uh, ways of they capturing weight and the intent and the idea is to increase the contribution of sorter machines weight where it is very robust you are able to see the product you have the image and you have the dead weight of the product moving on uh why do why is volumetric weight relevant right like everywhere where i do weight uh it's normal weight right like when i go to a, a airport check-in counter they ask me to use weight uh, anywhere when i go to buy vegetables they ask two kilo hai. nobody says volumetric right so i was also very intrigued why is volumetric relevant when it comes to e-commerce i think the premise of that is when stuff moves especially middle mile or when you're using air to move a uh, product every cubic centimeter counts right and uh, when you are have you seen delivery boys delivering 50 60 packages a day now imagine if there is a very big box he's unable to deliver 50 because his bag is only going to carry now 20 packages right just to be fair to him and just to ensure that we are able to measure and reward the right effort to what we are charging what gets charged is the higher of volumetric and dead weight because if you're going to send three pillows a courier guy will be only able to carry those three packages and just to tell him that this is only 500 gram and i'm going to pay you only for the 500 gram or one kg because dead weight was one kg becomes inefficient for them similarly when it is getting transported in a truck while you can use volumetric uh weight uh, smaller package you can send maybe 10,000 packages in a truck if you were to send high volumetric weight shoes or pillows you'll be able to send only 3,000 packages even if it's a nine ton truck nine entire nine truck nine ton in absolute weight is not utilized it carries space right so uh charging by space is 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 core to how logistics works at this scale when it's smaller parcels and hence volumetric weight and dead weight and this complexity remains in in the e-commerce logistics space we want to why does a weight what is a weight discrepancy like weight discrepancy simply put is when you put in a weight and the courier uh, comes back with a different weight the difference between the two weights becomes weight discrepancy uh, or we can move to the next slide yeah so say you you, when you send the package, said the package was 0.4 kg. The courier weighed it on the premise or when they captured the dimension and they said 0.58 kg. That becomes a discrepancy. So very simply put, discrepancy is what you are saying, aapne kya bola hai weight, and what the courier partner is saying, the weight is. Right? So that's, that's very simply put, weight discrepancy. How do we, what do we do? Uh, see, I think you have to understand one of the key benefits uh, what we encourage for sellers is uh, how can we use data processes, technology to be able to arrive at the right truth, right? You said that the package was 0.4, the courier is saying 2, 2.5, 3 kg, etc. Uh, we cannot take that weight for granted so we do this process of a pre discrepancy evaluation right i'm going to ask jyoti to talk about what is she doing so you put in a weight we send it to courier 5 6 10 days later the courier is going to send the weight of all your shipments back to jyoti 
and jyoti doesn't agree to that weight most of the cases and then she has this big fight she's fighting uh, jyoti over to you to talk about what do you do once you get the weights from the couriers uh, thank you atul uh, so here i want to add that uh, uh, as atul has already discussed earlier that the courier is passing the discrepancy based on uh, shorter capture machine uh, shorter uh, weight captured by the machines or manual or physical in, uh, inspection at the courier hub so whenever we are getting the discrepancy from courier we are not just passing it to to you we have multi layer of weight validation so we are we have uh, we have divided this uh, validation in four step so first is when we are getting the discrepancy we double check are we getting the same awb image or not because image is very important for me because this is the solid proof second is uh, if we don't have any images but we have the sample images for that particular pid or not if not then again we are uh, re-escalating to the courier partner. Second, uh, what is the historical weight for that particular PID? There may be a chance that the courier has shared the images, same AWB image, but what is the weight earlier for that particular PID? If the weight is something different, then again, we are escalating to courier instead of passing to you. And third and most important, the weight which courier is passing on the basis of product category is it is it same as per the product category or not or or content so these four checks are our validation pro, uh, process where we are validating courier weight and in this process we are able to reduce almost 30 percent of the total discrepancy and in this 30 percent of the discrepancy we are able to uh, uh, save approx 45 to 50 lakhs rupees per month for the seller which we are actually not passing to the seller we are pre-validating, pre-fighting with courier and then passing the rest actual discrepancy where we have something to prove that we have that these are the evidence on the basis of that we are passing the discrepancy. So moving on next slide. And, and, and yeah. just on that, this is essentially the heart of where we try to add value guys. Uh, and we realize we are maybe a ten, 8 on 10 here. We are still not 10 on 10. And this is what we continuously keep iterating on, this is what we say is the value of working with the aggregator in that sense that I am able to use all the data and the processes which I have at our end to be able to question and logically argue with the courier on the weight they have charged. Like if it's a silver earring, even if the image is right, we push back saying maybe the image what you're sharing is even if the image says 4 kg, Jyoti and team will push back saying it's a silver earring, right? Like it can't be 4 kg uh, when, when she talked about the category or historically looking at this is the same product, this is the best seller of a particular seller. He has been charged 5 kg all the time. How can you say it's a 1 kg or 1.5 kg or 2 kg, etc. Right? So it's a very, very important process. We can keep it very close to our heart. Uh, we are very... Uh, self-critical on where we are. We are saying we are 8 on 10. We have to make this 10 on 10. Our push to all couriers is, like I started with, 80% images or 70% images are not good enough. You have to make it as 100% images for everything. Uh, and then only will we sort of be able to make this grayness into pure black and white. Yeah. Back to you, Jyoti. Yeah. So moving on next slide. So this is the first step which we are uh, validating the courier weight. And uh, if I'm talking about what can we can seller do to, to reduce discrepancy or avoid discrepancy. So in our uh, four step verification process, we have identified there are major, major discrepancies are due to incorrect dimension. So whenever you are passing any order, if you put the correct dimension and especially post packaging dimension, that will help me to fight more on uh, from courier side. So incorrect dimension is the major uh, sign for no uh, for for discrepancy. And second, whenever you are pass, uh, processing any shipment, if you can save or if you can record the image of that particular AWB or maybe um, particular package, that will help to get the correct from the courier if courier is passing any discrepancy to us. And uh, third and most important, so mostly discrepancy are because of flyer, edge cases, corner nikal gaya hai. 
उसकी वजह से वो एल बी एच विल बी कैलकुलेटेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एच गे सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग एनी फ्लायर तो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट टू यूज कॉम्पैक्ट फ्लायर पैकेजिंग टू टू अवॉइड एनी दीज टाइप ऑफ एडिशनल वॉल्यूमेट्रिक या इनकरेक्ट वॉल्यूमेट्रिक वेट एंड फोर्थ विच इज एक्चुअली मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू कैन स्टैंडर्डाइज योर पैकेजिंग सो इफ यू स्टैंडर्डाइज योर पैकेज देन यू कैन फ्रीज द सेम ऑन आर on our panel so if you freeze your shipment you will never ever get any discrepancy for that particular packages particular pids so uh, so fourth is my best so if you can uh, uh, free if you can standardize your packaging you will get 100% of this 100 uh, you will get 0% of the discrepancy so over to you atul thanks thanks jodi i think some of the insights of what we have learned uh, while working with uh... Like thousands of sellers, uh, like yours, saying keep these key things in mind, uh, especially this flyer one. So if you look at the package which you see on the screen, the inside box looks smaller, but toward the right side, if you can see my mouth, there is like some protruding stuff out. Uh, and machines are machines, so when the courier calculates it, it calculates calculates it as twenty eight centimeter and eighteen centimeter, and hence, you know, it is while the dead weight in this case is less than five hundred gram. the volumetric in this case is greater than 500 so this will get charged at 1 kg even when the dead weight was 250 g only so being just more cautious on the packaging and sealing it in uh, ensuring those edges especially on flyers are not there will go a long way in ensuring that uh, the volumetric weight does come into play and you don't get a discrepancy moving on uh, discrepancy what can you do to reduce discrepancy uh, but if you're working with us and we are a e-commerce enabler we work with like 70000 active merchants our purpose as ship rocket is to make entrepreneurship easy which make we we do it by making e-commerce shipping easy and if e-commerce shipping may a biggest problem one of the bigger problems is weights we have to play an active role in making it very easy for all you guys so what we are going to cover now is what can what have we done or if you are using our platform uh, how can you use our platform and the capabilities which we have built to help you reduce weight discrepancy and all the weight issues which come uh or of one of the next slide yeah so first and foremost depending on what scale size you are uh, you can use different ways to input weight so when you're manually creating an order you can do a manual entry uh, you create a product you enter a weight and that's about what you can do uh, go about but if you are shipping certain products which are repeat products right you have a shopify website uh and ship rocket may the catalog of that shopify website is already synced in when you create an account you can in the catalog say ye product is weight ka hai and what i'll do is every time the shipment is getting created we'll pick that weight up if you are using excel to create orders you can in that excel specify the weight making it very easy otherwise you'll have to go to the panel and specify the weight all the time or if you are a big enterprise customer you are using uh some channels some wms oms in between uh, and you are using our ship rockets api stack to create order you can in that api call itself specify the weight of the product you are creating a shipment for yeah so first and foremost depending on what scale you are we make it very easy for you to put the right weight of what shipment you are planning to ship so that at the entry point itself it is correct moving on i think the next one is uh, how can you use and jyoti talked about it weight freeze or box freeze to prevent mismatch i'll give you the context right uh, some of the products which we are talking about are same products right you know you are going to ship sarees right and sarees are going to be fundamentally being similar and going in a similar packaging or if you are selling shampoo your 500 ml shampoos even if there are 30 variants of those are going to be similar weight and similar 
volumetric weight. So as we are going through this exercise and working with a lot of D2C brands, we realized a lot of products you guys are shipping are consistent and similar, right? I understand if there is an order which has four products or five products or six products, it is very difficult to predict how much in the box will be or how total weight will be. But single product, if you have a bestseller and you are selling 300 units of it or 30 units of it in a month, it is very easy for us to arrive at a fixed weight of that product. And that's what we call as weight freeze and box freeze. I'm going to request uh, Sunny to share what are the capabilities which we have on ShipRocket through which you can use weight freeze or box freeze to funds for all. For your best sellers, say, yahi weight hai, and we then use that weight only to charge you. And if there is any discrepancy on the courier side, Jodi and team, do that fighting on your behalf. Over to you, Sunny. Thank you, Atul. Hi. Uh, very happy to see so many people participating in this. Uh, so weight freezing uh, basically is a feature that allows you to define the dead and volumetric weight both for a product in advance. So that when you ship the product, there are no discrepancies, as Jyoti mentioned and Atul uh, reiterated. So let's see how you can request weight freezing for a product uh, through this video. Uh, we have the workflow available here. So what we see here is uh, basically, uh, I think while the video loads, I'll, I'll uh, talk you through this. So basically, this is the uh, path through which you can uh, arrive at the workflow to request weight freezing for a product. What we see on the screen is a manual workflow. You can do the same by uploading a CSV with the similar details uh, that we can see in the pop-up on the screen. All you need to mention here uh, are the dimensions of the product, which you want to freeze weight against, and a few images that our team can validate. And uh, we take typically three to five days to confirm uh, a weight freezing request. And uh, that's all you need to do. And once it is done, you can be assured of zero weight discrepancies for this product forever. Right. So it's it's pretty cool if you think uh, that uh, 3000 people on our platform are already using this to increase and make their uh, increase the efficiency and also make their experience really, really efficient. Right. So we also have along with this uh, box freezing or you might also want to call it package freezing. Uh, God, if you could just uh, scroll to the end part of the video where we want to talk about the box freezing screen. What we have there is uh, basically uh, a provision for you to only define the volumetric weight. What we do there is uh, you can take a package. For example, you have a package A, a box A. You can tell us the dimensions of that box and you can tell us what are the SKUs that you ship within that box. You give us those uh, details. We approve it. And then there are zero volumetric discrepancies. Whenever you ship an SKU map to that box, we'll automatically assume that when you're shipping this mug, you are shipping it within that box A for which you have already shared dimensions with us. So when the courier comes back and tells us that the dimension is higher, we have something to go by and fight it out uh, on the basis of this information. And obviously other things that Jyoti also mentioned about, right? Uh, so that's all about weight freezing and box freezing. Uh, over to you, Atul. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Ani. Uh, I think uh, one, one, I'll strongly recommend all of you, uh, your friends, your peers, etc., to if you have a standard list of products you are going to ship and 80-90% are those standard products, uh, uh, please get the box freezing done. Uh, while I'm also conscious, I'm just reading one comment from Amansa Fine Arts Studio. Somebody had written that they've done, uh, they mentioned they did the weight freeze, but uh, after that also there was some discrepancy. So we will investigate this. Uh, whether it might be an outlier it is not how it is supposed to happen or how we'll make sure it doesn't happen. It might be, I understand I'm not debating whether this happened or not. It would have happened. Maybe a box freeze. Maybe we might have raised a discrepancy, but that's not the intent. The idea of by the name of a box freeze or a weight freeze is that you should after that, unless you change packaging, in which case also I'll be able to pick it up because courier will tell me something on the image, I will realize that you have come to you.
कि आप हम एग्री विल फ्रीज दिस बॉक्स और दिस प्रोडक्ट एट दिस वेट एंड यू आर रनिंग इट फॉर सेवन एट मंथ बट मे बी सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल शैम्पू राइट एंड वी फ्रीज द वेट बट यू रैन अ प्रमोशन फॉर टू हंड्रेड टू मंथ फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस टू हंड्रेड एम एल फ्री राइट एंड यू चेंज द पैकेटिंग लाइक एफ एम सी जी में होता है पैक साइज बढ़ गया इट माइट गो आउट ऑफ वेट फ्रीज फॉर दोज टू मंथ बट दीज आर आउटलायर्स बॉक्स फ्रीजिंग इज अ की 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 फोकस एरिया फॉर अस वी रियलाइज इट आई एम अ वेरी स्मॉल हॉबी सेलर आई रियलाइज इट थिंग इट्स सो मच पीसफुल uh when i know the product i have shipped from ship rocket i am not going to get a discrepancy on because i have frozen right and i understand it's relevant only for few categories where the products are similar agar aap fashion mein hai ya um kuch aur like trending products mein hai it keeps changing if if the sq which you have is not fixed but if you have a limited set of 25 30 40 uh 60 sqs Uh, with clear best sellers and the uh, high volume ones strongly strongly recommend please do box freezing and we'll ensure these outliers amansa which happened with you remain outliers and uh, you should drop us a mail just drop like jyoti.singh@shipprog.com a mail on what happened and we'll try to fix it great moving on uh, i think weight freeze box freeze is one way uh, to sort it out but i think what what we what we are what we also realize is it's a complicated uh experience right on weight like which sku weight what was i what had i put as volumetric and dead what has courier given what is ship rocket intervention where is the image how do i do it what do i do etc so we realize that on the last 6 7 months we have worked a lot on making the user experience of it very simpler uh, so i'm going to request sunny again to talk through what all changes we have made on the ui ux to make it very easy for our sellers to be able to manage and reduce weight discrepancies thank you atul uh, i think the main three things that we wanted to achieve by making these ui changes and making your experience better is uh make it easier for you to process the information that we display to you make it quicker for you to take actions and we also added a lot of new information that was not available earlier to make this experience very transparent for you so that you can trust the experience and the process as well so while we look at these screens uh, i would uh, request gorav to also move to the next slide uh where we can see that the filters at the top which is the overview section where we used to mention the metrics the key metrics in the weight uh, experience process the new discrepancies uh, the discrepancies which got accepted some actions that you took and what are the outcomes of those actions what are the pending actions that you can take which are time sensitive so we've made these clickable uh, you can click on these and directly uh, open a filtered view of only these awbs and then take an action based on that uh similarly we've added a few filters which you can see on the bottom right uh, screen uh there are a few filters with which we've added because we figured out that it's easier for you if you can filter out a particular product and see all the discrepancies that you've had on the product or maybe you want to search only one product and all the discrepancies that you've had so we've added both search and filter uh features for a product id for an awb and you can also uh, you know uh, apply these filters in tandem for example you filter for a product id and then you want to filter only for a certain uh, status for that product we have also enabled that uh, we can move to the next screen gorav uh, th these are the filters that we were talking about i think we should uh, move to the next slide and look at the workflow once so uh, we went ahead and uh, launched this new version uh, where uh, you can see we've added a few details for example uh, if the discrepancy is raised due to higher dead weight or volumetric weight we made the package images available more prominently to you on the top uh, you can see that we have added a search bar and you can use the product id which is available on the screen to search for it and you can see all the awbs with that specific product id and you can see what happens with that a uh, product uh, over time and with different couriers as well as you can see the 
numbers at the top the overview numbers are also clickable and uh, this this is a new filter so as soon as this new filter got applied uh, it is applied in tandem with the new discrepancy status so these are a few things uh, that we've done uh, and the objective here is obviously to make it simpler for you easier for you and to make it more transparent for you as i mentioned earlier uh, and we we in this uh, journey are especially looking towards you uh, to give us more feedback on what we could do to make this experience even better not just in terms of the experience but in general also if there is any problem around weight that you think we can attempt and solve for you uh, we're here thank you atul i think uh, thanks ani thanks ani uh, i'm just uh, that some of the questions also while we were talking maybe in the context for those come to the discrete speech how to freeze that is it possible to do that Jyoti, can you hello? Sorry, Atul, your voice was breaking. Sorry, I was not here. Yeah. So one of the questions is, can we freeze our flyer packaging? Yeah, of course. Uh, flyer packaging. Yes, of course. Uh, you can freeze your uh, maybe box, maybe flyer, but the flyer can be I mean, like if you have a fixed flyer, maybe one, two, three, five, six, seven. You can freeze your flyer as well. uh with that particular pids and uh, if you have multiple error but it's, there is no uh, if and but in in case of flyer and box yes so box freezing may the it becomes slightly less relevant of what is going inside in flyer you have to map it to a pid etc so both are possible uh, uh this was a question by uh, one of uh, one of the participants uh, there was another one why a frozen weight becomes unfreeze after some time i think uh like i said the 500 gram uh where we freeze it and we have consistent data points that it has become 700 is when we unfreeze it uh right and this is just some checks i think the workflow and to be honest the workflow of communicating to the seller that it has been unfrozen and that you are going to be charged differently etc is not so sharp so the ui you exchanged with sunny talked about we are making like this is the first version which has come in there's something else which is coming by mid may 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 end type where a lot of these inconsistency if i may call them will start to disappear because what we realized was while our intent was whatever we are saying uh, the feedback which you are sharing with us is something similar to what we used to get when we used to talk to sellers so we are trying to see how can in ui ux make, make those changes if something is getting unfrozen you getting a pop up with a specific reason ability to talk to somebody at the wait help desk where you can call and raise your query uh and be able to address it is some of the uh, interventions which we are building uh there was another question by ilesh on one of the specific issues i have just mentioned the email id feedback.wait@chiprocket.com we have also set up a dedicated wait help desk in our call center so when you call our call center now and you press the wait ka number i forgot what it is we'll maybe circulate to the participants you get connected to somebody who is a waits expert and not a call center uh, generic employee who's answering right from edd to wait to ndr uh, they have the visibility into the images and a lot of these questions uh, especially ilesh your question will get addressed in future uh, because that call center guy is empowered and enable to be able to look at such inconsistencies and make sure we make the right decisions on behalf of our uh, sellers great uh, okay yeah so that is first on on uh, what weight freezing is and uh, what is the ui ux now despite all our efforts right and and what we do eventually when we raise a discrepancy what ship rocket is saying is based is all the information i have available i believe that the weight you as a seller have put uh is not right and i believe there's some other weight right we do not trust the courier weight blindly guys uh, sometimes people say courier ka weight aa gaya isliye aage de diya what is the value add you are adding no and we do not in any case where the courier has charged me lesser charge you guys 
right? Our intent is always one at the back end, fight with the couriers to reduce the weight. First, to get convinced ourselves that this is the right weight, and then we upload it as a discrepancy. But we do realize uh, for us to do it on behalf of 70,000 sellers and fight the battle with the couriers, etc., we might be 80% right or 90% right, but we might be missing out on some edge cases, right? Which where uh, we need you to raise it with us then. So what we have is a very seamless uh, weight dispute process as well. So after I raise a discrepancy, after all the checks, and we'll keep making it better and better and better and better and better. We'll keep making it filtered for you and make it very clear to you why I have raised a discrepancy. You can still disagree with it. And through a very seamless flow, if you can play the video, Gaurav, raise a dis dispute saying, I do not agree with this weight, Atul, Sunny, Jyoti, and, and give specific reasons for why you do not agree. Here, we, what, what Shiprocket has done is given reasons why we believe is this is the weight. Kya volumetric tha, kya dead tha, aapne dala tha, kya volumetric, kya dead, aapne dekha hai, packaged images. You can still raise a dispute with your uh, explanation or your side of the story. And then we look into that. Uh, we try to close all disputes within five days. Remember, guys, this is now somebody manually looking at each and every case uh, and trying to resolve it. Move on, Gaurav. Uh, if the dispute, you're not happy with the resolution of the dispute, which is done by one set of team, uh, you can re-escalate it or raise a ticket or write to other people back dot weights where it then gets escalated to the escalation team which then does a double click uh, and a separate concentrated effort on the specific issue which you have raised with whatever information you have raised that issue with right so that's how we sort of try to ensure that with whatever we have done on pre discrepancy and the ui ux if still there is a gap we have enough redressal mechanism you don't have to call you don't have to do anything else, you can from the panel itself raise a dispute or raise a ticket and a weight expert will take care of that issue. So yeah, that's that's more let's move on, Gaurav. Yeah, uh, so that's go back to the previous slide, we'll reveal we'll, we'll it later. Yeah, so that's that uh, that was about what happened on pre-discrepancy, what happens when we upload a, a discrepancy, what can you do for dispute, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, What we did over the last six months was we tried with this new uh, experiment, right? Where a few of our sellers approached us saying, I understand I will have 10% discrepancy, genuine discrepancy. Why? Because, you know, most of my products go in 500 gram because they're single. Then some go in multi, right? And some something else happens. Then some make a box, ho jata hai, mera box bade jata hai. And in the last six, seven months, I realized I get 5% discrepancy or 10% discrepancy. Can you make life easy for me around it? Can you make it predictable for me? Can you somewhere incorporate that 10% into some sort of a costing structure and give me absolutely zero discrepancy on whatever I'm putting so that I have consistency and I don't have to go through the operational hassle of managing weight. So quickly, Jyoti, do you want to talk about our weight assurance program. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Atul. So in our weight assurance program, basically, as Atul has already mentioned, that uh, if you are not able to, you know, you, if you have multiple SKUs and uh, you have new SQ, uh, like um, SKUs and all, and uh, in short, you don't want any single discrepancy. You are putting the correct weight, but still you are getting one or two ship, one or two percent of the discrepancy, or maybe ten percent of the discrepancy. Now we have a uh, uh, new. We have we have a plan uh, which we called as ship profit weight assurance, where we, you will not get any single discrepancy in ship profit weight assurance program. You, if you opt for this, you just need to pay the uh, uh, additional uh, minimum additional cost, and you will not get any single discrepancy. And uh, uh, as per the current data, uh, we have uh, two hundred plus sellers are already opt-in for uh, for SWA program and they are not even getting any single discrepancy from, from last X months. So if you want to opt for this, you can write us on SWA at the rich .com. Also, uh, Gaurav will share the link. Uh, I think uh, he will share the link right now. To uh, If you want to opt for this program, you can opt it right now. Uh, we will definitely uh, get back to you on the same uh, uh, as uh, early as possible. 
Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Jyoti. And I'm just uh, reading some of the comments, guys. Uh, I understand sometimes we might not have been able to, and it's a journey for us also. We might not have been able to address the weight discrepancy or the dispute better. That's why uh, we're just sharing the email ID once again. If you have any pending issues, please share it on that email address and we will sort of look at those on priority. Moving on to the next slide, Gaurav slide 22, just to summarize what we have discussed so far, uh, how we can help you manage weight discrepancy better. Uh, one, freeze the weight if you can, if it's a common SKU uh, or it's a regular selling SKU or freeze the box if you have multiple products but are going to ship in standard two, three boxes, right? We might be eight on 10 on freezing but I'll, I can assure you with whatever Sunny and Jyoti have in plans, we will in the next 15, 20 days be 10 on 10 on the freezing experience we want to give. Right? We think it's a big differentiator. It can add a lot of value. So if you have catalog which can be frozen, go freeze the weight. Right? We on our behalf will continue to get better and better at robust pre-processing for courier weight validation. When couriers give us discrepancy, they almost give us 25% discrepancy. 10% we fight and get it. We finally upload 15. Uh, but there's a 10% fighting which Jyoti and team is doing where all the data which we have and the scale which we have helps us fight that battle and push back on those weights before I even upload those weights. We, we have worked a lot on creating the right UI UX for you so that a lot of these inconsistency and experiences that you're facing gets taken care of. Uh, a robust a workflow for you to raise disputes and last the weight assurance program, which is sort of a bundle pricing program where you are going to get zero discrepancy, whether it is a frozen SKU or a non-frozen SKU, because we just look at the averages and we bundle it in the price. Right? I might be losing some money there as ship rocket, but we say it just makes the process much more easier and simpler, and we have less uh, things to worry about as entrepreneurs. We want you to be least worried about weight. We might be 7 on 10 or 8 on 10 there, guys, I, we admit. But the idea is to enable you to focus on your business and take care of everything uh, from weight to India to everything uh, at our end at Chip Rocket. Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, these are the mail IDs. Uh, the mail ID I've already written on chat, sorry. Uh, and you can... This is for uh, SWA. Just go back to the previous slide, the dispute one. Uh, got up. Yeah. Uh, this is where you can write. Great. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to pick up a few questions to answer. We have some 10 15 minutes. How do we solve for return order weight discrepancy? Jyoti, do you want to take it? Yeah. Sorry? How do we solve for return order weight discrepancy? Yeah, so uh, return order discrepancy. So basically, uh, we had just uh, started capturing the forward AWB weight. So uh, if you are putting the forward AWB, so we will make sure that we will not pass weight more than forward weight. So uh, as uh, as we have checked the data that we have, we are getting only five to ten percent of the. Uh, in case of five to ten percent of the shipment, we are getting the forward AWB. So I request you to uh, add forward AWB number so that we will not pass discrepancy more than forward AWB. And uh, uh, this is yeah. the this is the plan for the reverse. Yeah. So this is a uh, recent change which we have done. <laughs> yeah. So creating a return shipment. You can specify the forward AWB. Now, the only requirement which we have is the forward AWB should have happened through ShipRocket because then I have a track and I can sort of uh, follow it. But if I charge you forward may 1 kg return, irrespective of how the courier is going to pack it, we will charge you it. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, so I just want to add one more thing that uh, it's okay if uh, so if you are processing forward AWB number from X courier company, but with 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 ship profit only, and you're processing reverse from Y courier company, that's okay. We will take care of this, but we just require your forward AWB number. We will definitely, uh, I mean, uh, we will definitely not raise more than uh, forward AWB weight in reverse case. Got it. Uh, there's a question which Bharat has. What leads to an erroneous weight capture by the sorter? I often see this with delivery and what are the ways we can run it. You can't do anything. It's like I think what we have to do or uh, as ship rocket, it's more for us to do as ship rocket is uh, we are trying to uh, use some image processing software to be able to see 
if there are two packets what happens is sometimes on the sorter there will be two packages and then the volumetric weight the system the machine is trying to calculate so it will calculate a combined one or sometimes there's some other error that the aw number is different and what it gets as dimension is different so we are building some solutions around it so that the image which i give you and the info i'm giving you along with that image is consistent again uh, bharat it's a system so we might if we are 90% accurate today we are might be 98% uh in the weight discrepancy flow we are building it in a manner that you can raise it as you know i understand this is the image and this is the weight but what i want to dispute is the image itself is it so it's a different type of a dispute and we'll handle that separately uh the qr code is not working uh, gora there's the feedback unable to open the form uh i've already taken bharat uh, uh zomi uh, had asked a question on their issue was not resolved i very apologies if some of those specific issues have not been resolved i sincerely request you to uh, write to that email address which we have we'll pick all the responses you get today and over the next 24 to 48 hours and sure all of them are addressed uh if you can just keep the feedback to specific use cases or experiences that you want us to uh, or of something on the form uh, the feedback the email id is feedback wait just show the feedback wala just checking or whatever got to just check otherwise just put on the screen the email address where people can uh yeah so this is another anonymous attendee can you not deliver the parcel if the weight is different we tried this you know it leads to a very messy instances what we are trying to do by the way is can we get the weight say 6 months 9 months down the line before the package is delivered so that if you want to dispute dispute it then and there and you know the packet is still with me as ship rocket through the courier party and hence i can always get a double click done if need be so we can make the process faster we do not want to delay pick up because the weight mentioned was different and like i said we are getting more and more sharper about what courier weight am i going to accept so if you have shipped the 3 kg parcel and the courier saying 8 kg they have to convince ship rocket team to be able to put the 8 kg to you right and that's why what we say is what you see as the final weight is more ship rocket weight because i have audited it i have spent time analyzing it what does resolved within sla mean this is that the dispute was looked into and closed um weight assurance program vishal weight assurance program is um uh, is basically we were saying you will get 0% discrepancy so we look at historically you also realize 10% uh, shipments you your standard putting 500 gram for everything and you realize 10% shipments are 1 kg so 10% discrepancy you are getting uh some months it might be 9 some months it might be 11 you don't want the hassle of going through that exercise so we assure you 0% discrepancy and we So it change your pricing and increase it by say eight uh, percent, so that it's a it's a more a convenience thing of saying financially it balances out. Why get into this hassle of getting into weight weight? If the discrepancy can be raised, yeah, I agree. Elish, can we raise the discrepancy earlier? Like I said, it's a key focus area for us. We are trying to get better at it. We are consuming weight through API now. It used to come in Excel. uh we are trying to see the same like it it will almost in future become like ndr you know today uh, ndr gets raised by the fe we get to know on ship rocket and we start our ndr workflow straight away how can we do it on wait we might be a year behind but we'll get there uh, how do we solve for return we have talked about it uh, how long does it take to resolve after disputing the courier ship rocket claim it should not take more than 5 days if it's taking 5 five, five days we try to close all disputes uh, some of them get extended which goes outside sla and then if you are still not happy you can raise a ticket uh, we are making a some progress there guys we have like i talked about a wait help desk now on call center to be able to move more, more to be able to take calls faster and more proactively uh can we have more info slash video of wait update to be done in shopify catalog sunny do you want to take this how does like i am running a shopify website do i upload wait there and ship rocket 
like how can i ensure that i give the right input this is more on the input side from tanu yeah so uh, what happens is when we sync orders from shopify shopify does not have the capability to pass on dimensions they do not store dimensions so what we or anybody who is uh, fetching orders from shopify gets is dead weight but since we have to pass both values dead and volumetric to the courier uh, we rely on what you update after the order is created on our platform in terms of volumetric weight to be pushed to the courier that is a hassle because once you've created a shopify channel linked it to us you should be assured of not doing any manual effort right so what we uh, allow for is we allow you to create a catalog uh, where i will i'll try to just share my screen yeah uh, is my screen visible yeah yeah we can see it so uh, as we can see uh, there's a option in the left menu called uh, catalog within the setup and manage section where what we allow is at a product level you could go ahead and capture the dimensions here you can also do the same by uploading these values through a csv upload simply right and what that does is once i get a order from shopify uh i fetch the dead weight from there and then i rely on the catalog information that you have saved one time uh and i rely on this every time a order comes in for that product i pick it pick up the value from here and push the same value to the courier so it's automatically uh going to be a fallback mechanism for all the shopify users if they upload a catalog weight here and it also serves the purpose of having more uh, uh consistency and uh, uh for me if i have this data point i can fight with the couriers i can uh negotiate with the couriers uh because this is a very important data point for me and if i have it in my system it helps yeah i think uh, that's how you can uh, do it atul over to you thanks another one nityashri has a very uh, any idea i think we, we don't support this right sunny why can't we update the weight after clicking ship now in some cases you might have entered a wrong weight by mistake yeah so uh, it's a, it's a update weight yeah it's a it's a very uh, uh, corner use case what we allow for today is that uh, the support team caters to these requests uh, but only uh, you know uh, through manual intervention we don't have it uh, solved for in a very simple uh, product way we don't have for example a button on the screen where you can update the weight after it has been uh, shipped uh, but we can look into this definitely and uh, if there's a, a use case where this happens more than uh, you know uh, a few times we can definitely have an option but essentially even if you have an option to uh, update the value uh the value that has been passed on to to the courier uh is what they will benchmark at and it gets more difficult for us to negotiate uh so that's that's what it is about got it got it okay maybe we can take the last two questions uh ashish your question like just uh i think just drop in a email like the customer care should be able to uh, manage that but Uh, if it doesn't, you can just drop me an email as well in three four days, and I'll have somebody look into it. Your case of the shipment getting lost. Uh, thanks, Ilesh, for the appreciation for call center support. In fact, we are getting making it better and better. Uh, the call center one because we realized that the first touch point, and that's why the wait help desk which we have set up, uh, it's still uh, progress. There are two participants who have raised hands. I'll request if you can just put in your uh, questions. We might not be able to. Uh, take the form doesn't seem to be going live for vishal uh, vishal what you can do is drop in an email at sw@thebridgeprogram.com if you want to enroll for the weight assurance program, program uh, that should work uh, do you share recording of the sessions uh, i'm not sure if you do but what we can potentially do that we can host it on our website we'll get back to you yeah. we anyway have all your email addresses will ensure that if you want to uh, see this you have access to uh, this but uh, overall thanks guys thanks for joining in thanks sunny and jyoti for taking out time uh, 
guys like weight is a problem in e-commerce shipping we are committed 100% to make it simpler and better we are not saying we are done and right now so we will make some slip ups we will make some mistakes do write to us at the email id i have shared feedback weights at the rate shift rocket.com to keep us honest to help us continuously keep improving and we'll keep coming back maybe every 2 3 months on what we are doing to make it better and better uh, like i said freeze your weight uh, and try to be part of sw and keep images uh, handy of your shipments while uh, jyoti tries to get the pre discrepancy lower and lower and lower and sunny is trying to build an awesome experience for us yeah. so thank you thanks a lot uh, and thanks for uh, attentively listening yeah. back to you gaurav thank you thank you thank you everyone for attending the webinar on the major problems that we discussed today with discrepancies uh, uh, i see that may, many of you are facing an issue with accessing the form you can write to us that the given email id and uh, you can now also access the form it's it's working now and you can submit your responses to us we'll just wait for 2 3 minutes then we'll end it for everyone thank you